Hey everybody, it's Humboldt. Uh, I just want to make a video showing update on our Kid Zone tractor. Uh, we've had it a little over a year and a half, not quite two years yet. Um, it's been pretty good, but there's had to be two parts that I've had to replace. They're so, really easy to work on, and I'm going to show you how to replace these two parts, being that I'm guessing they're the most common things that go wrong with them. Uh, we have a Peg Perego uh, gator which is this right here. <clears throat> and then uh, we have a Power Wheels Barbie Jeep and that is similar. There's a little bit more wiring in the Power Wheels than uh, the rest of this. But I'm gonna show you right here on the kid zone. So we had a couple issues at the beginning of the year when we went to take it out of the barn. Um, this is the old power switch. I took it apart and tried to clean the contacts, but after I realized they were kind of corroded like that, uh, I just decided to look and see if I could find a switch for it. So I found this on Amazon, $7. It's like a kid's right on push button start switch. So the start switch you just push it in, basically line it up straight, and just pop it in there, and it's got an LED light. So, um, so yeah, anyway, <clears throat> that had got wa gotten water in it over use, and going through the mud, and just sitting out, and this is basically where it's at now. Um, I replaced the switch about two months ago, and then just today, uh, we had an issue with this right here, the foot pedal, and my son went to go press the foot pedal and nothing happened. So, you know, I'd, I figured, well, it just pops out real easy, I'll check it. And uh, everything else... So, everything else was working. I turned it on, uh, the light comes on, but he'd press the switch and it wouldn't go. So I uh, took the foot pedal off and this is just a simple switch. Basically all that switch does is just connect these two wires together. When you touch them, then the wheel turns. Okay. So, super easy switch. They sell one on Amazon. I just looked up real quick. It has six, six uh, <clears throat> connections. But you can buy that one. And you only need two out of the six connections. Uh, and then another thing is this right here. If you take the screw out... You don't actually have to buy the whole foot pedal, but they're about the same price. This just comes apart, and it's just a momentary rocker switch. And then uh, you take these tabs out. I don't think I've done this yet, but anyway, it comes out real easy. <clears throat> they sell those too. So I just ordered the foot pedal, and I'm going to put that in as soon as it shows up. But these are super easy to work on. So, anybody that's having problems with not only the kid's own tractor, but any type of 12-volt uh, ride-on toy that uses, like, that style push-button switch, I mean, they're almost all interchangeable as long as the parts look the same. You know, depending on what brand it is, it's probably made in the factory, same factory as everything else. This is just kid's own sure any most kids own products uh, the parts are interchangeable so if you do have something happen uh, where something doesn't work the parts are super cheap real easy just need a flathead screwdriver just to pop this part out and same with this in here just stick it down on the side pry it out and that's it um, our remote is still working I don't have it with me right now but I know some people have reported problems with the remote so far that's been good, but I've kept the remote inside. Every once in a while he leaves it in the back. It's been rained on twice maybe, but 
um, like this, and then for this Peg Perego, the foot pedal is pretty much the same. It doesn't quite have the same switch, but you can order this foot pedal assembly from Peg Perego. I actually got this one out of a used gator. We had two of these before and one of them broke and the other gator was all cracked. So I just been changing out parts. Um, but for the most part, a lot of the stuff is pretty similar. So hopefully this helps someone out that has one of these and it isn't working. Um, maybe they can, that'll help diagnose the stuff. I mean, if you got power when you turn this on, then, uh, most likely, you know, it could be the controller. That's a possibility, but this is an easy, easy thing to check. Just touch these together. And then if you touch them together and it moves, then you know that's your problem. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little rundown on the issues we've had. Um, his tire treads came off. Had a little rubber ring around the tire. That came off in the mud, but I'll clean that off later and put it back on. I'm, I'm assuming there's some type of glue on there, but it drives the same with or without it so i wouldn't worry too much about that um so yeah i think that's pretty much it otherwise it still works pretty good it's been beat around he pulls a lot of stuff with it so all right well thanks for checking out my channel channel remember to subscribe 